I told you I didn't sleep with Sonny. I only let you think that because I was so mad at you. Wow. Our marriage hangs in the balance and you lie for a reaction? You know what? Do whatever you want with Sonny or don't do anything with Sonny. It's really not my concern. Okay, so anymore. after all the lies you told, it's now my fault. Well, you're the one that moved out. No, fine. Fine. You know what? I'm going to take the kids and you can go back to the carefree playboy lifestyle you had before I so rudely interrupted. I'm not going to let you rewrite history with that little playboy crack, okay? I've been faithful to you in this marriage, which is a lot more than I can say for you. Oh, really? You're going to bring that up again? Yeah, I slept with Sonny. We were drowning in grief over Michael. Don't make it sound like some sleazy ongoing well, affair, Jack. Well, don't make me out to be this, this womanizer who, who considers his children optional, okay? If you're so furious that you want a divorce, I can't stop you. But I can't affect what happens to Jocelyn. She's going to be staying with me. Really? Yeah. Huh. I'm not saying that you can't see your daughter. You'll have visitation rights. Oh, thank you. <laughs> generous. Well, and I'm hoping that you'll be just as generous uh, with seeing Morgan and, uh, you know, Michael, too, if he wants to see him. You've got it all figured out, huh? I mean, I don't even get a vote. Well, why do you care if Jocelyn stays with me anyway? I mean, you said it a million times that uh, leaving Michael with Jason when he was an infant was the best thing that you could have done for him. So what are you implying, that I fake postpartum depression because I... Couldn't be bothered with raising Michael, and I should be relieved that you want to take my daughter away from me. I'm sorry. I'm That's the kind of what I meant. Okay. Comment that Sonny would make to make me feel like crap or punish me, and I thought that you were above that. But let me guess, that's my fault too. It's because of me that you sank down to my level, and that I'm just dragging you down. Is that it, Jack? I'm sorry. You're sorry. sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Okay. Yeah. It's just the truth is, Carly. It kills me to know we're not going to make it. Every instinct I have is screaming at me not to walk out of this room without my daughter. But you're a good father. So if you want Jocelyn to stay with you, I'm fine with that. At least for tonight. Thanks. I'm sorry what I said before. I was out of line. And the worst thing we can do is stop ripping each other apart. We should think about what's best for the kids. And let go with as much class and dignity as we can muster up. I'll expect to hear from you in the morning about what time I should pick up Jocelyn. Hey, where's Jocelyn? She's going to be, um, staying at the hotel tonight with Jax, and in the morning we'll work out some kind of custody agreement. I'm sorry it worked out this way, Mom. How could you let this happen? You're supposed to make up with Jax. It's not that simple, Mom. Why not? What's wrong with this family? Why are we always falling apart? Why does everyone quit? No one is quitting on you. Jax has moved into a hotel with his real kid. No. No, don't you think that he loves you and Michael as if you were his own? It's not going to be the same without him. They hate this. I hate it too. I hate it too. I'm sorry, Jocelyn. I know that you'd rather be at home with your mother when your brother's close by. Believe me, I prefer that too. But I know how stubborn Carly is. You see, she only sees the value of something when she's about to lose it. So, Daddy is bluffing for our lives. Make Carly fight for me is the only chance we have of getting our family back together. Yeah. One day you'll understand that. I love Jax with all my heart. But what he did was wrong. And I had to walk out of that hotel room tonight because it's the only way to fix this. I don't understand. Sometimes people need to be reminded about what's at stake. Especially a prideful man like Jax. I think you're kidding yourself. Well, you don't know everything. Jax responds to a challenge. If he thinks I've given up on the marriage for good, he'll do everything he can to hold on to it. 
even admit that he made a mistake. Seems ass backwards to me. Maybe, but it's gonna work. 